I think, I think, I think it's working now. God. Okay, so I screwed up. I tried to make the game not full screen, and then that just made it screw up. So I'm back in uh, full screen. This is called Shelter. You can't really read the... I guess they're being clever with it. Where's the mouse? Okay. Yeah, it's camouflaged. Hey, man. That's cool. It's, you'll, you'll like this one. It's about badges. It's called, it's called Shelter. Well, that's why I got my guitar. Right? <laughs> no, um, you can't really read the title because it's camouflaged. Uh, I don't know if there's any settings I need to know about or if I just play it. Awesome. I don't know what you do in this game. New game. Loading. Oh! Am I a badger? Right, I don't really know anything about this other than... Other than that there's badgers in it. Okay. Just one alive. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Alright. Last wildlife game that me and David played was called Wolf Quest, and uh, I think we actually called our wolf Kratos, or at least with my wolf, I don't know. Uh, oh, hang on, maybe I need to, maybe I need to pick up that dead badger and carry it away. Is this what badgers are really like? I can understand why Brian May wants to save them all. <laughs> he's, if Brian May, if you don't know, is a rock guitarist in the 70s. Well, he's still, he's still around. Uh, he's my hero. I've got I got in the early stages, I really didn't get the badger thing, but, uh, I think it's cool that he does it. I don't know about some of these. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't really get behind. It's like in the in the old days when all the musicians would get together and do a charity single and then have an all-in special where they're all in the studio, they're all singing, "Oh, feed the world" and all that crap. And he did a video like that about I think lions, maybe if not badgers. And I don't know. I guess it doesn't really communicate with me. But I'm, all the same, I think it's cool that he's at least trying to do something. I mean, it's. And uh, I've been reading about the badger thing, and it's pretty stupid, uh, the whole, the cull thing. It's not going to really achieve anything. It's pretty pointless. So anyway, that's that. But yeah, he's my hero, and uh, <laughs> badgers. <laughs> okay, admittedly, I don't know what the point of this game is. I mean, I'm in the tunnel. The tunnel, bro. I picked up some sort of turnip or other assorted vegetable. Oh, we can go down here. Oh, wait, no. I think my badger's scared. So what, what the hell are we? Can we eat the mushrooms? I don't even know what I what I am in relation to the other badgers. Am I like the pack leader or the the, the chief chief badger? Is there such a thing? All right, this one's not doing so well. He's kind of looking pale. He's not as as virile as the other badgers. Um. Oh wow! I picked up another one. Was it the same one? <laughs> Never mind it. We'll leave that there. Okay. How do I climb out of the hole? Okay, I, I gotta tell you, Shelter, I don't know what your game is. Oh, that's pretty good. Come on, we can do this, we can... Together we can... Uh, fight for bad freedom. No, um... Uh, I hate being stuck on the early stages of a game. It makes me feel really, really stupid. Um, very quickly. I gotta admit, I was better at Wolf Quest than I am at this. At least with Wolf Quest, we managed to sort of walk down the, the countryside a bit. And what the hell is my badger's problem? Can't I just like charge at whatever whatever's terrifying him? Oh come on! Come on, badger! Hang on. Shelter settings. I need another controls. No controls. So what's the point? You're trapped in here. Until what? You die? You starve? Hang on. I'll take this thing. Plant it on my dead friend as a sort of a, a tribute to our <laughs> to our relationship. No, um, no. I'll take this with me. Maybe it's maybe it's my badger's way of saying don't leave the food behind. A badger's that smart? Oh, the fa my favorite thing that any badger has ever done is eat that porn star. They had that uh, dwarf porn star that looked like Gordon Ramsay, and he went off into the woods to kill himself. And I think they found him like in a badger nest and like. Uh, Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is ridiculous. I need to know what the hell to do. Why does my badger not want to go down that tunnel? <laughs> does he know something that I don't? And then all these little baby badgers, I mean, these guys are going to die if you don't go down there. Because we need to get the hell out of here. What if I eat this thing? Oh, I can pick it up. I can't do anything else. 
Maybe I need to watch somebody else play the game. Hang, hang five, guys. I've got this all sorted out. We'll put some beach music on. It's okay. I've got, I've got everything under control. Okay. Shelter. Badger. Preview gameplay. Gameplay. Play through part one. Here we go. And you know the worst thing about being somebody who makes YouTube videos of games is that you go to watch another walkthrough and you just want to, like, figure out how to win the game. And then what you get is somebody like me who thinks they're funny and, you know, really slows you down. You just want to know what the hell to do next. Okay, so he's in the menu screen. He's probably talking like I am. I've got him muted, though. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. He's looking around. He's actually looking around more than I did. Maybe that's what I need to do, just to survey the scenery a bit more before I start losing. Okay. He's walked past the dead one that I did. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm watching a walkthrough while making one. Okay, he's looking at his dead friend. Trying to pick him up. Didn't work. Okay. He's going towards the turnip that I found. Oh. Okay. Now he's going to the tunnel that gets that scares your badger. Now he gets scared, so how does he get past that? Man, I need to skip ahead. See, this is the really frustrating thing. Oh god, maybe this guy does the same thing as me. This is only 15 minutes long. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, hang on, I can see something happening. Whoa, I think he just ate the thing. <laughs> and he's just triggered off the credits. How did he do that? I might need to unmute him for a second. Hang on a sec. There you go, eat it, um. Oh, he feeds it to the dead one. Okay. Well, I tried that, didn't I? I can't really remember. <laughs> I can't remember like a fucking fish. All right. Sorry about that delay, guys. You know, traditionally that's the kind of thing I delete, but I cannot be stopped. Oh, we've revived our friend. Oh. All right. Oh, we've got music. Creative direction. Johannes Wadden. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Sorry about the language. Andreas Wangler. Cool. Thanks, guy. You know, I could have sworn I tried to give food to that dead guy. Or at least, like, as a sort of a tribute. Like a, like a parting gift. Like, well, farewell forever. Here's your last turnip, kind of thing. But, um... Obviously, I didn't try quite uh, hard enough. They should make a game like this where you're an Ewok. the Ewok song for anybody who doesn't know Star Wars very well. Um, oh wow, what the hell. I can't even see where I'm going to... The camera design's not the best, guys. Hang on, where is... is this even what badges... I thought badges were black and white. I really don't know my wildlife very well. Okay, oh, hang on. We are emerging into another cabin. Hang on. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, this is a Unity game that's not doing that thing I was complaining about before. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, please somebody fix that for me. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not good enough with uh, troubleshooting and whatnot. And I did Google it, and I found about five people complaining about the same thing, and none of them had, like, a, a solution. That, yeah. Whoa. Shift. Now we can run! Oh, we're on the open road! Oh, wow. I like this stylized kind of, um, world we're in. It's sort of patchworky looking kind of quilt. Uh, like... You know, if you walked into a certain kind of person's lounge room and they had quilts on their couches, you could see patterns like this on them. And that's not a criticism, I think it's cool. I wouldn't have it on my couch, but I'm just saying, you know, like... Oh, the grass is all... wobbly too. Ah, oh, shift and you can run into the trees and maybe knock the apples down for these guys. I don't know how much of this bad badger's actually got up to. I'm gonna have to ask Brian, mate. I think I'll... I'm not making fun of him. <laughs> no, no, he is legitimately my hero. Um, but... When I say ask, I just mean like ask us, like somebody who knows about badges. I mean, what do they actually get up to? Like, is any of this even plausible? What I'm doing now, carrying the turnip, knocking apples out of trees? Maybe it's just like a sort of a sentient badger adventure where you're like their version of Isaac Newton. You knock the apple from the tree, all of a sudden you've invented warp drive. Cool. Right, come on, guys. Oh, so they eat the apples and I carry the turnip. That's egalitarian. I do the work and they get the spoils. As long as I get to eat the turnip afterwards, I'm not too worried. There's no health bar in this, that's pretty good. I don't like clutter on the screens, that's why I like the, the um, initial concept of Spore more than I like the end game, because um, 
because when Will Wright was showing everyone what sport was going to be like, there was very little on the screen, if anything. And it just looked so neat and tidy. And then when you get the actual game, it's all... Things everywhere. I don't like that. Oh, there's the waterfall. Waterfall. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay, we can't go in the middle. Jimi Hendrix lied to me. I don't think Jimmy would ever lie to me. Yeah, the, for a while there, I don't know if you still can, you could actually buy a cast of Jimi Hendrix's manhood. His, you know. And, um, I thought it would be the funniest thing to, to buy one of these and then mount it onto the whammy bar of your guitar. But, um, first of all, they're very expensive, and second, I, I, I don't think anybody would talk to me anymore if I started doing things like that. It'd be pretty cool, though. Kind of, a bit of a fuck you to people who insist that guitar is like a phallic kind of instrument. I mean, it's like, you know, you see what you want to see. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just a bit of wood with some strings on it. Your hand has to go up and down, otherwise you don't get any noise happening. I mean, if you can design a guitar that's not phallic in some way, then show me the blueprints, you know, but otherwise just shut up. Um, you're criticizing my life's work here. Sorry. <laughs> Are my badges actually following me? I was so annoyed the other day. There was this, there's a science show in Australia called Catalyst, and first of all, they they ran a story by some fucking idiot who... Oh, okay. Oh, he's, he's really awful. He's got this awful beard and his curly hair, and he thinks he's hilarious. A bit like me, but he has a beard. And, um... I wish I could remember what the article was. But it was really annoying. Like, you wouldn't know... Oh, I think it was about cyclists and road rage and stuff. And you wouldn't know that it was an adult program. Like, we have this version... We have ABC, which is like our BBC. And like BBC, we have lesser and greater channels. Like, we have ABC2 and ABC3 and all that. And ABC3 is where all the really terrible kids shows are. And I swear, this guy, like, he could have been on one of the kids shows and you wouldn't have known it. You would not have known it was an adult science program. And he was so annoying. I mean, like, actually, I was trying to eat my dinner and it was depressing how stupid this dog's walking. Um, why was I talking about Catalyst? Damn it, I can't remember that. Uh, they ran some other article that I was about to talk about, and now I forgot what it was, but, um... Oh, no, what? This is gonna bug me now. What was it about? Oh, I... That idiot with the afro has totally ruined my, uh, my flow. I like the music. Oh, yeah! Okay. They were gonna use, uh... They were gonna go through a public street. They were gonna get these guys to ask girls out. First of all, just not carrying anything. And then I think carrying, they try, they try out on more girls carrying gym bags, and then the third part of the experiment was to ask girls out while carrying a guitar case. And it was full of this bullshit, like, oh, men only play guitar to meet girls, and it's like, you bastards! Like, you know, I, I feel really upset that I've spent all those years playing guitar just because I like the fucking thing, you know? Because, let's face it, playing guitar has not gotten me any, uh, any loving as such. Maybe the odd bit of interest here and there, but I think that's just because people are drunk and stupid. And yeah, it's, I feel like it's demeaning. Like, if you're one of these sad fucks like me that just likes music because it's music, what the hell are you, like, you know, uh, I just wanted to basically get the guy who made this article about the busking and the guitar case and all that. I just wanted to grab my ears and vomit on him because it, it was really insulting. I, you know, I don't get offended easily, you guys know this, but, um, anyway, let's go after this guy here. What am I chasing? It's like a fox or something? Do I have to, like, rustle? Hustle? No, no, shepherd? What do I have to do? He's getting away! Oh, God. And my badger can't even go down slopes. How long am I going to be chasing this thing for? Are my guys still here? Oh, I don't way slower than I am. I got wolf at him. Did badgers make that noise? I like the game, though. I'm going to make a misleading title for this. I'm not even going to name it after the game. It's going to call it a badger's title. <laughs> I think the real challenge of this game should be to avoid farmers waving rifles. <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't, I shouldn't joke about it. Uh, it's just like, they, I'm not up on the whole thing. Like, I read Brian May's blog sometimes, and he talks about, like, they're going to cull them to save cows from tuberculosis or something. Like, but that's the, that's the intended logic. Apparently, it doesn't actually do anything. I just think, fuck me, I don't want to... Whoa! Suddenly, I feel like I'm playing out of this world. Oh shit, is that more birds? Are they gonna come for my babies? No! I'm gonna hide in the log! Hide in the log! Follow me! Oh! Hopefully the bird can't come in the, in the tree log thing. 
Wait, where am I? Oh, now I... Where are my progeny? I've lost my children. Oh, thank God. Okay, guys. Wait for the bird to go away. Oh, except I, oh damn, I can't... This is really stressful because I can't watch the bird to see when he's gone. Because every time I turn the camera, it's like goes back to badger cam. I'm, I'm the mighty badger. Is there a way to get them to stay here? Ah! No, no, come back in! Oh god! That one ventured out for a second. <laughs> I'm really worried about my little guys here. I mean, like, I'm responsible for their safety. Okay, I'll run, run, run down this and see if I can get a look. I like the music. How big is this bird? I'm so <laughs> what? Cheating! Have I still got all- oh god, I haven't even been keeping a head count. How many have I got? I've got five little badgers following me around. And one big fucking bird just cruising in the heavens. And Halo in the background! Look at that! Look, 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 look. That's Halo! Halo! It's Divine Wind Bird Pass! Oh, hang on. Oh, fucking... We're gonna make a run for it. What is this guy? Shit! Some of it's gonna eat my children. Oh my god! <laughs> it didn't actually get one, did it? Oh, we gotta get out of here. Quick, quick, quick! In the grasses! It'll never catch us there. Wait, are my guys even following me? There they are, there they are, there. Oh god, they're all in a big clump. Stop swooping my children! I don't want them to die, they're so cute. Oh, hang on, we'll go through here. Do, 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 do. How many are there still? I need a head count. Head count! Come on, let's go! Okay, we're still fine, thank god. Quick, go, 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 go! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, we can't go through there! Wait, is that five? Yeah, it's five. Okay. My speed counting's not very good, I, I can't get lost. Okay, hang on. We gotta get out of this bloody danger zone. Shit! Oh, I got one! babies and now it, oh, I guess now it's got lunch it's not coming back oh shit I didn't even get to name that one I barely knew you badger number five oh f expletives well now I've I've, <laughs> now I've done it does that actually howl like dogs like what's the What's the badger sound? Maybe you guys can fill me in. I've never even met a badger. Oh my god, I... I feel really shitty now. Is it gonna, like, is the bird gonna bring it back when it finds out that it doesn't like badger? Like, what's the, what's the deal here? Is there, like, a payoff? Do we get to go to the bird's nest and save my baby? I feel really bewildered. <laughs> And it's an effective game, because you see, you look at it, and there's no no real visual flash to it. It's just you and your babies in some weird spooky land where anything can happen. It's like, that's all a game needs, I'm telling you. Game developers need to turn on to this kind of wisdom. Do I still have my children? I'll wait for them to come around the corner here. Guys, guys. That's not the same. You might as well all be dead. <laughs> oh, um, can we eat mushrooms? No. That's my guy saying, no, I'm not into mushrooms. I don't eat them, I mean, and I'm not, like, being stubborn, it's just, like, I've tried, I really have, but whenever somebody's cooking mushrooms in the kitchen, or if they're in something that I'm eating, it's like, yeah, sorry, can't do it. Um, why do my babies run so slowly? I mean, they're younger than I am. I'm the bent, old, broken survivor of the wars, as far as I'm concerned. Like, I'm, I'm the fossil here. Both in the game and in real life. And yet these guys, full of pluck and energy and, and vim, whatever vim is, and they're just, like, dragging their asses. And somehow, even when I'm camouflaged in the grass, they can still find me. They're following their noses, I think. Oh, God, I've lost a child. I keep, you know, it, like, the, the feeling comes and goes, like, because I've got to press on for the sake of my surviving children. But at the same time, it's like, oh. you know, when we get to our den, there's going to be a little badger-shaped hole where my, my fifth son used to be, or daughter, whatever. Maybe they're not even my children, maybe we're just related. Stop fucking making so much noise. 
The farmers will find us. Wouldn't it be cool if your badgers came across like an abandoned log cabin and you made it your home? Like you had to use badger wisdom to try and operate the appliances, like get the oven going, um, get the get the tap turned on, use like do the dishes. Ooh, what the hell? Oh wow! The circle of life. Do, 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 do. Oh wow! Oh yeah! Oh! How are we gonna ditch the dodo? <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go, bird. It's simple, you gotta get out of Pride Rock. You gotta go. Oh, more mountains. Fuck. We're already up among the clouds. I think we've traveled further than any badger ever has in real life. They really are the couch potatoes of the animal kingdom. No, see, I, I really do know nothing about badgers. They're not a. Whoa, what's this? A little vole or something? A mole or whatever you call them? Aha! Whoa! Are you telling me we're carnivorous? Feast on this, we mateys. Hmm. Oh, wow. That was easy. Oh. Is a vole an animal, or am I thinking so? <laughs> That's a big pile of vole shit right there. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Um, not really. Um, oh, there's another turnip. So you got to keep your eyes peeled, because you are the breadwinner. If you don't win that bread, it don't come around. And, um, these guys are going to uh, starve without my... Without my tender, loving care. Eat that. Oh, wow. Don't they- see, they need to share it. That's the real problem, because... That badger basically just got all the food. Now, the other guys are like, what the hell? He didn't bring us any... Any stuff. Wow, where do you go with this, anyway? I kind of want to stop, but it's like... You could just keep going. <laughs> see, now, look at the, Okay, watch this. This apple's falling down. All four of them are like, oh! oh and they're, they're scrabbling. They're, they're getting closer. And, and, and... Only one of them gets any. It's a simple message, and it comes from the heart. If you believe in yourself, believe in yourself. That's the place to start. I got. We got to that on. What's that show called? The, Albert, the Aardvark, maybe? No. Somebody told me he was an Aardvark. It's a simple message. Ah, oh, Albert. Cartoon theme. Fat Albert. <laughs> oh Jesus. No, what's the show called? Hang on, okay. This is what I do when I can't remember a song. Just Google the lyrics. Okay, wait for it. This will be well worth it. It's a simple message. And it comes from... Arthur, not Albert. Jesus. Arthur cartoon intro. <laughs> I can't... No wonder I was having trouble. Alright, here we go. Prepare to rock this shit. We're going to play all my favourite uh, show intros. Oh, not ads! Come on, YouTube. Do I put ads before my videos? I'm so annoyed. On my on my Zabonka channel, I do a cover of John Lennon's song, Woman, and then ads play before that. And I'm just thinking, every time that fucking ad comes on, Yoko Ono gets like three cents or something. But because she's old and about to die, basically that money is going straight into Sean Lennon's pocket. If it was going to Julian, who I respect, I could understand, but, you know, fuck. Anyway, here we go. Okay. When you're walking down the street, when you're walking dogs, everybody does you need. Or eat? What? An original point of view. <laughs> cool runnings, man. Yeah, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. You're going to play. 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 you are if you believe in the believe in yourself, that's the place to start. Can I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Oh, you just fell in the pool. Check that shit out. We get the long with each other. Hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Hey, what a wonderful Where are my children? <laughs> Alright, I better let them eat. Alright, what else we got? Uh, we got the Babar is another good one. If you guys have seatbelts by any for any reason in your uh where's the intro? I don't know. Any any kind of seatbelts or restraints installed in your computer seats, you will need them for this one. Okay, let's get ready. Please don't play any ads. Please don't play any ads. Okay. This could this works on my badges. Where the badges go in from the woods. Oh. We're trapped. <laughs> We're trapped. 
Isn't this so relaxing? Oh, they've got an old lady in the show. I forgot about her. See, I don't know how this works. They've got Baba who lives in the house. All these elephants for some reason live in this oversized house, but the woman is like normal sized. Like, how can an elephant fit on a couch? I've just realized how stupid Baba is. <laughs> it only took me 20 years. I love the music though. More Volpu. Wait a minute, hang on. Roll call, roll call. Um, I have three children. I had four. What happened? Shit, I take my eyes off the fucking game for two seconds to play you some quality tunes. Oh, hang on. We're going into the caves again, what I mean. Oh, we're going to car. We're going to car. <laughs> Did I go in a big circle? Is this my home where I came from? There's no point in me coming back here. I, yeah, I, there's no point because I've killed two of my children. When the Badger Child Services get onto this, they're, they're going to take the rest of them off me and put, and put me in the slammer. In the Badger Slammer. I come. Have I? No, seriously. Can, if somebody's played this game, can you tell me if I've just done a big loop? Because, um... What are the songs out there? What does the Wild Thornberries theme sound like? Because that I don't remember. God, this is important stuff, guys. Sorry about this, but you really... I mean, the Wild Thornberries movie opening? No, no, no. Theme song? Hmm. If I don't like it, I'm turning it off. Any time now. Ah, uh, this is generic jungle music. I don't know what this is at all. I'm pretty sure this is where I came from. Is that the point of the game? Like, you just do a big loop? Yeah, this is pissing me off. Shut the fuck up. Um... God, what's another fucking uh, song intro I can grab? No, I can't think of any more at the moment, but there used to be this great rotation of shows on the ABC in the afternoon. Well, and if you think about it, those were better shows and they didn't even have, like, specific children's channels back then. They just had the one ABC. Yeah, this is the fucking start point. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, thanks, game. Thanks a bundle. Crap, I don't believe it. Well, um... I'll tell you what I'll do in honour of Brian May is I'll get my guitar in. reason I have this guitar out tonight is that I'm trying to fix it. Because, you're not going to believe this, okay, I, I played a couple of gigs, oh god it's filthy, you can't look at it like this. Anyway, um, and, okay, I don't know if you've played, if any of you who own guitars will know that there's a thing here, these saddles, right, and they have a screw and a spring, and what you do is you, you put the, the screw either way to get the saddle here to ride forward or backwards, for the purposes of something called intonation. That's making the, making sure that all the notes are you know, the correct pitch all up and down the fretboard. Because if it's in the wrong spot, you play here and you're too high or too low. Very simplified version of this. Now, look at this. I played two gigs at the casino and somewhere along the line, the screw from this saddle is gone! And I don't... <laughs> now I've got to find a replacement screw because I'm, I'm... Oh shit, now the spring's going away too. Because I just... I touched it. I'm really cut up. Because this is my... I love this guitar. I've had it since 2006. I absolutely adore it. Um, and, you know, every time something bad happens to it, I feel like a bad parent. So, yeah, as you can understand, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, a bit, I'm in a bit of a state right now. Um, obviously going to have to take care of that at some point now. Uh, I guess I should declare that the game part of this video is over, because I'm, I've, I've just looped back to the start of the level, and, um, I'll tell you, this is another good bit of kit that I bought a few years ago. Now, okay. This is, this is a Vox guitar strap. Now, the thing about this is it's really pointless 
it's way overpriced and it's a bit of a gimmick because Don Lennon had one so it's like oh duh, he's just a big fanboy but what I found about this guitar uh, strap is that it's quite heavy and that guitar is not really the heaviest kind of guitar you could have and when you've got this it's like I don't it's hard to explain but it basically puts all the weight here so while it's not very nice on your shoulder if you're standing for a long period of time it's very good for the balance like you can just by comparison the guitar feels very light you can just position it wherever you want it because it's anchored to this heavy thing and here's another thing you're in a spot of bother there's somebody at your gig you don't like and it's coming for you take this thing off this is metal real me if i were to like hit someone with this side yeah, get them with it in any number of ways i don't want to actually knock anything over in here but like swing it in their face i mean this would do a real injury you turn up at court next week accused of manslaughter or something or <laughs> grievous bodily harm and the guy would still have these marks on his face my words not that I'm an angry person, I wouldn't do something like that, but I'm just saying, if you are, you could probably, you know, use this as an offensive weapon. Um, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm sorry about this badger game, I thought I'd be better at it. Because it's got like this whole, there's the parental thing, where you're saving your children, um, roaming around free in the wilderness. I'm that kind of guy, really. Um, is the game still running? It is still going. It's just like, chilling. They should have little health bars, because they're probably all starving now. Yeah, but I've basically screwed this game up. I'm so sorry. Um, everything's gone to shit. I've lost this game. My guitar is ruined. That happened before I started making the video. But, um... Oh, now we're scared again! What the hell?! See, now I can't find another turnip for my dead friend, so it's like... Now we really are trapped. Sorry, guys. Dinner's cancelled. Um, anyway, yeah. Tomorrow I'll be doing a podcast with David, and then uh, after that, who knows? I, I can't see the future. Can you? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to end on a high note, but I'm really cut up.